Hello, my name is Carly. I'm an accredited practicing dietitian from Nutrition Australia, Queensland. In partnership with Brisbane City Council and the Active and Healthy team, we run a range of cooking workshops across Brisbane. One of the programs that we run cooking workshop in is the Chill Out program. So these are school holiday cooking workshops that we run with children. Now due to coronavirus restrictions, we're un unable to come out into the community to deliver these workshops at the moment. So we thought we'd put together a video of one of our popular recipes, which is zesty cauliflower burgers. Now this recipe you might like to make at home, whether you're a family, living on your own, make it with kids, it's a really fun recipe. So this serves six people, so we'll make six burgers uh, all together, and why don't I run you through the ingredients? So the hero of this recipe is cauliflower. So here I've got around 600 grams or about four cups of cauliflower florets that I've just chopped up roughly. Um, this ingredient, while it might, may seem like a lot of cauliflower, but uh, this is a, a meat-free kind of burger. So you're replacing the meat you usually use, say like a beef mitts or something like that, with cauliflower. So kind of works out a similar price point there, but you're getting a great source of veggies um, into your day. So a great source of vitamin C, fiber, folate, cauliflower is definitely a winner. So with this cauliflower, I'll be mixing olive oil and smoked paprika. We'll cook that in the oven, chop it up with our food processor, um, and then combine it with a few other ingredients. So we've got some cooked quinoa, breadcrumbs, tasty grated cheese, uh, eggs, ground cumin, and garlic. So that will form the base of our uh, burger patties, which we'll cook in an electric fry pan. Um, and then we'll make a bit of a slaw. So in the coleslaw, we've got some red cabbage, green cabbage, grated carrot, some chopped coriander, um, some lime juice for a bit of zest in there, and also some mayonnaise. So that'll form our slaw. Then all that's left to do is kind of put those together um, and you've got yourself a zesty cauliflower burger. All right, so let's get started. So with our 600 grams of cauliflower, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. So just drizzle that over. We'll give it a good mix with our hands and also a tablespoon of smoked paprika. So sprinkle that on. Alright, so there it is. I've washed my hands before I started to record this video, so you might want to do that yourself. So let's give this a good mix, shall we? So we basically just want to coat the cauliflower with both the olive oil and the paprika. Nice and messy, get in there. Alrighty. Looking good. So here I've just got a lined baking tray with some baking paper. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees. So I'll tip that out on there. Try not to spill any as I go. All right, just use my spoon to get anything out there. Smelling good already. Okay. Evenly distribute that across the tray. We want it to cook nice and even. Okay, so this is ready for the oven. So 180 degrees for 20 minutes. So I'll pop that right in and I'll be right back. All right, our cauliflower is cooked. So it was in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. So be very careful with a hot oven. I took that out of the oven, um, let it cool for a little bit, and now we're ready to get started. So this cauliflower is going to go in our food processor. Again, be very careful with the sharp blades of the food processor. So I'll add that in now. And with this cauliflower, we don't want to blitz it into a puree or anything like that. We just want to um, give it a quick pulse to break up the pieces um, so they're a little bit smaller to form our burger patty. Alright, so cauliflower goes in. Okay. That's all in there. Pop the lid on. pulse button, give it a few, few goes. And that looks great. So just roughly chopped. Turn that up. 
Okay, so I'm just going to carefully take out the blade. And I'll dip that into my mixing bowl. I've just got a large mixing bowl here, make things easier. of garlic that I've just minced. Have a teaspoon of ground cumin for some flavour. And I've also got two eggs that I'm just going to crack in. These eggs will help bind our mixture together. Is a good mix. So I'll start with a spoon. And I may need to use my hands after all. together nicely. You can smell that smoked paprika that we cooked the cauliflower in. It smells delicious. Alright, so now it's time to form some patties. So this recipe should make roughly six patties. Uh, we're going to cook that in an electric fry frying pan. I've just heated that to a medium heat and just a bit of olive oil in there. So time to form some patties. So thinking about our burgers just there, wanting to make a patty that will that burger. Alright, roughly about that size looks pretty good. So I'll pop that in and I'll keep going with the rest. So I've got a patty there. Okay, into the frying pan. Again, be very careful, it's very hot this one. all stuck together. So I'll continue shaping these patties, cook them in the fry pan and I'll see you shortly. Alright, our cauliflower burger patties are done. They're really nice and golden brown. Um, didn't take too long to cook in the, in the electric frying pan um, and they're good to go. So the next step of our recipe is to cook, um, is to put together the coleslaw. So in this coleslaw we're going to have red cabbage, green cabbage, carrot, coriander, lime juice and mayonnaise. So I'm just going to put that all together in a bowl, give it a good mix and then we can assemble our burgers. So, one cup of each of those cabbages. One cup of carrot. Around a quarter of a cup of chopped coriander. If you don't like coriander, you could use another herb in place of that one. I'll give that a good mix first with a spoon. Just to have it all incorporated. Alright, so to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of lime juice. Bit of a kick of flavour there, which is nice. And I've got about half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm 
again, so we're going to give that a really good mix. looking good. So everything's nice and coated, nice and mixed. Okay, so I guess all that's left to do now is to assemble. So we've got our slaw, our burgers, and I've just got some grainy burger buns. So I'm going to eat one of those sliced in half, one of our burger buns. Gotta carefully pick one of those up. They can be a a little fragile, just be careful there. So we've got our burger bun, nice good serving here of our slaw, which is packed full of flavour. As little or as much as you like really, there's enough for six servings. Alright. Pop the top on. And there you have it. A little bit of a mess there on the side, but that's our zesty cauliflower burger. It's really easy, a great recipe to make um, with your family, with your children. Get cooking in the kitchen while we're all at home at this time. Um, the rest, full recipe, all the ingredients and method, all of those details will be in the description of this video. So head there and happy cooking. I hope to see you soon. Thanks.